2015, Section B, Question 8. The periodic table is printed on page 20, list the elements in order of atomic number. Use this periodic table to help you answer this question. A, Part 1. Name any element from period 2 and explain how the electronic structure of this element can be used to determine which group the element is in. First, let's define period. Period refers to any horizontal row. Let's look at a periodic table. The first period consists of hydrogen and helium. The second period we have lithium, beryllium across all the way to neon. Third period we have sodium, magnesium across all the way to argon. So for this question which is asking us from period 2 we just look and focus on the second period namely from lithium across to neon. We look at first, therefore uh, your answer can be any one of these elements across. Next, to answer which group that the element belongs to, we have to look at the electronic structure. Let's look at the atomic number first. For lithium, there's three. Beryllium, there's four. I use these two examples to show ourselves how we derive the group number. Beryllium, 3, the electronic structure would be 2.1. This is the number of valence electron which determines the group number. So lithium belongs to group 1. Look at beryllium, another example. Beryllium has got atomic number 4, so the electronic configuration would be 2.2. .2. Again, look at the valence number of electrons is 2. Therefore, beryllium belongs to group 2. I just work out 2 to show you, so you can pick any one of these uh, element across period 2 to answer this question. So let me show you the answer. Lithium is the element that we have picked. The electronic configuration or structure is 2.1. That's another mark. And the third mark, we explain that the number of valence electrons determines the group this element belongs to. In the case of lithium, it has got one valence electron. Hence, it belongs to group 1. So that accounts for three marks. Next. AII question on moving across period 2 from group 1 to group 7 the character of the elements changes describe and explain the change we know that the answer to this moving across the period 2 the elements changes from metallic to non-metallic in character and the next mark we describe the group the metallic elements are from group 1, 2 and 3. The non-metallic elements are from group 4 all the way to group 7. To appreciate um, what exactly happened when we move across the period and there is this change in the metallic character from non-metal, uh, sorry, from metal to non-metal, I would like to Bring in this, which is not in your syllabus. The atomic size of the atoms. Across the period 2, there is a decrease in the atomic size of the element moving across period 2. The attraction between the nucleus and the valence electrons also becomes stronger as you move across the period. The tendency for the valence electrons to be lost become lower because of the stronger attraction. So, 
put it in words, this is due to the decreasing size of the atoms moving across the period too. The attraction between the nucleus and the valence electrons increases, hence making it more difficult to lose the valence electrons. For your answer, it's sufficient for you right, to state just this. Moving across period 2, elements lose their valence electrons less readily. That will account for the third mark. Next, part B. The element with atomic number 85 is so unstable that it has never been seen by the naked human eye. Consider the properties of other elements in the same group as this element. Predict one physical property and one chemical property of the element with an atomic number of 85. Then lastly, we are supposed to write a balanced chemical equation to represent the, the chemical property that we have chosen. Four marks. Okay, first, to identify this element, we need to refer to the periodic table and check. The element with 85 atomic number is astatine. So the first mark, the element is astatine. To consider the physical and chemical property of the element, first, we need to look at the trend. The trend for both the physical and chemical properties of group 7. Oh, I forgot to mention, actually, that astatine, it belongs to group 7. 7, the halogen group, which consists of F, chlorine, bromine, iodine. For this group 7, let's look at now the physical property trend. Look at the colour. Observe, recall that the colour changes from light to dark. Yes, so we can predict astatine will be having a dark colour. And for the physical state, from gas to liquid to solid, similarly, we can predict for astatine, it should be a solid. So the answer to the first part, astatine is a black solid at room temperature. For the physical property, let's look at the trend again. Fluorine, the first member in group 7, being the most reactive, can displace all the other ions from its solution. Similarly, for chlorine, it can displace the bromide iodide from their solution. For acetatine, which is right at the bottom, it can be displaced by all the other elements above itself. This is a displacement reaction for group 7. Hence, for the answer, the chemical property of astatine, its ions can be displaced by any of the members above itself in group 7. And lastly, the last uh, fourth, fourth mark, we are supposed to show the balanced chemical equation. We choose a salt with astatine, sodium astatine. We react with chlorine, which is above astatine. Chlorine is able to displace astatine ion, giving it, resulting in astatine solid. Right? And balance the equation with the state symbol, you get one mark.